Hello everyone, now let us discuss about the mock questions from Anatomy of Respiratory System Part 1. In the current session, we will be focusing questions from Anatomy of Nose and Pharynx. Coming to the first question, which part of the body divides the nasal cavity into right and left side? Which part of the body divides the nasal cavity into right and left side? The answer is nasal septum. Nasal septum divides the nose into or nasal cavity into right and left sides. Next question, which bone is not a part? Read the question properly. Which bone is not a part of bony framework of the external nose? If you see in this picture, you can find the bony framework of nose is formed by frontal bone, nasal bones and maxilla. So, which bone is not a part of bony framework of the external nose? The answer is mandible. Mandible will be near the chin. It is not a part of bony framework of the nose. The bony framework of the nose, external nose is formed by frontal bone, nasal bones and maxilla. Coming to the next question, what is the anterior part of the nasal cavity just inside the nostrils? Nostrils are nothing but external nares. Here you can see these are the external nares. The anterior part of the nasal cavity just inside the nostrils is nasal vestibule. This part is the nasal vestibule. So the answer is option A. Nasal vestibule is the anterior part of the nasal cavity just inside the nostrils. What are the groove-like air passageways that are present in the nasal cavity? The groove-like, here you can see the lines are nothing but the grooves. These are the nasal meters. They are superior, middle and inferior. The groove-like air passageways that are present in the nasal cavity are the nasal meters. The grooves. You can see the lines are pointed at the partition or groove, a passageway. One, two and three. Superior, middle and inferior nasal meters. Nasal meters are the groove-like air passageways that are present in the nasal cavity. Which part of the respiratory system is called as throat? The answer is pharynx. Pharynx is the part of the respiratory system that is called as throat. Now, in addition to laryngopharynx, which portion of the pharynx has both respiratory and digestive functions? The laryngopharynx, the function is both respiratory and digestive function. In addition to laryngopharynx, which portion of the pharynx has both respiratory and digestive functions? The answer is fossas. Here you can see this part, the line is the fossas. It is the only opening in the oropharynx and it serves as a passageway for food, air and dust particles. And it has both respiratory and digestive function. The, the fossas of the oral cavity and the laryngopharynx both have respiratory and digestive functions. So, which parts of the pharynx have both respiratory and digestive functions? The answer is fossas in the oral cavity and the laryngopharynx. What is the arch-shaped muscular partition between the nasopharynx and the oropharynx? What is the arch-shaped muscular partition between the nasopharynx and the oropharynx? Here you can see, this is the arch shape. You can see it is in the form of an arch. The arch shaped partition between the nasopharynx and oropharynx is the soft palate. The arch shaped muscular partition between the nasopharynx and the oropharynx is the soft palate. You can see, a pharynx is divided into three anatomical regions. Nasopharynx, oropharynx and laryngopharynx. This is, an, this is also an important point to remember. Which are the three anatomical regions of the pharynx? Nasopharynx, oropharynx and laryngopharynx. 
both oropharynx and laryngopharynx have the digestive and respiratory function. The fauces of the oropharynx in addition to laryngopharynx has both digestive and respiratory function that we have discussed in the previous question. And the partition between the nasopharynx and oropharynx is soft palate. Its pharyngeal tonsil or adenoid is located in which region? Pharyngeal tonsil or adenoid is located in which region? The pharyngeal tonsil or adenoid is located in the nasopharynx. So the correct option is option B. Nasopharynx has pharyngeal tonsil or adenoid. The palatine and lingual tonsils are located in which region? Palatine and lingual tonsils are located in which region? If you can find here, this is the palatine tonsil and this one is the lingual tonsil. So, both palatine tonsil and lingual tonsil are present in the oropharynx. So, the region of the pharynx which has palatine and lingual tonsils is oropharynx. Option C is the correct answer. Which part of the respiratory system is called as voice box? The answer is larynx. Larynx is called as voice box, whereas pharynx is called as throat. So, the option is B. Which part of the respiratory system is called as voice box? The answer is B, larynx. What is rhinoplasty? Rhino means nose. Oplasty means surgical repair. So, rhinoplasty is nothing but surgical repair of the nose. So, option is A, surgical repair of nose. Rhinoplasty is surgical repair of nose. What is tonsillectomy? Ectomy means surgical removal. Tonsil means tonsillectomy is the surgical removal of the tonsils. So, the option is A, surgical removal of tonsils. What is adenoidectomy? As we know, ectomy means surgical removal. Adenoidectomy means simply surgical removal of adenoids or pharyngeal tonsils because adenoids are also called as pharyngeal tonsils and they are located in the nasopharynx. So, the surgical removal of adenoids is called as adenoidectomy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.